Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. This is Talia and our instructor Jamie tuning in live from Quest Church location. We wanna introduce something really exciting that we got um, recently for Quest to help our members track their progress in losing um, body fat, gaining muscle that we can use with teams, we can use with businesses for employees to track their health and their progress. So we just purchased what we call an in-body uh, bioelectrical impedance scale. I'm going to flip this around to show you. It kind of looks like the character from um, Star Wars, R2-D2 to me. But it's a device using bioelectrical impedance that measures your... Um, different from one that you could just buy at Amazon, which we've used before, where you can test your body fat and your lean muscle, um, your BMI, the ratio between your height and your weight, which gives us a disease risk indicator. This also measures your total body water and it tells us where, uh, how much muscle you have in each arm, each leg, your trunk. So if you're try we're trying to balance you out either for injury prevention, for training purposes with a trainer, um, with your coach for your team that we can make sure that you have enough muscle to support your body weight and be able to give you a guidance as to start as how much to eat and to maintain the muscle that you have. So Jamie's graciously allowed me to use her as a dummy to show you how the test works and what information that it shows, okay? So I'm gonna have her, she's already washed her hands. We've already done an ultrasound test to measure her true height. Um, I'm going to have her place one foot onto each pad and it's going to measure her current weight. She's followed guidelines that all of our participants have followed. So she hasn't, she's well hydrated, hopefully. Hmm. I'm putting in her name here now that we've gotten her height. She's going to type in her name. So she's well hydrated. She hasn't exercised or eaten today yet for at least 12 hours. So I'm going to hit enter. She hasn't exercised, had caffeine or coffee today. She's probably dying. <laughs> so we have her height is five. Five, five, six, five, six. Oh, that's you. Five, six point five. Yep. Her age, rating four. She's a female. Enter. So what's cool about this scale is different from the one we've used at the studio before. You're gonna place your thumbs on each handle on those little pads and just hold your hands right down at your sides. Come in here. And you're going to keep your arms straight. The difference with this scale is that, for example, our scale we've had at the studio, it's always good to compare your weight and your measurements in progress from scale, say, on the same scale. The difference is that, say, on our old scale, if I changed her height to five foot five inches versus five foot six inches, I was playing music for her. <laughs> It will automatically adjust the numbers because those scales the use a calculation. You can go ahead and release those arms down to the sides of the machine, yeah. and you can step off the machine. Okay. So it's calculated her step, and now it's going to print a report for her, and we'll show you that report so you can interpret it for you. So the difference is that this machine is true to you based on where you're at. So it's not gonna be based on a calculation. If you were to go to a testing facility at a university and do a DEXA scan or hydrostatic weighing, that's gonna be the most accurate. This is the, the best way to measure your progress outside of um, a facility like that. So you can get for a very affordable price. Um, I'm gonna have you hold this. I'm gonna okay. flip this around so that you can see what we see here. So we have a lot of information here. We have her height, her age, the date. So we, what we can see is Jamie's total body water in pounds. So we have 80.2 pounds of water and we want our body weight to be about 
75%, 75% water. We have her dry lean mass, which is, um, we look at our lean body mass. If we have our total body weight, that's our, our fat, our muscle, our water, our bones, our skin, and our organs. That's our total body mass. Our lean body mass is all of that minus our fat. Does that make sense? So in dry lean mass, this is taking the water out of it. So this is how many pounds of dry lean mass she has. So her muscle, her bones, her organs, her skin, minus her water. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So then we look at body fat per, um, in pounds, and we want to have a percentage of body fat, and then the sum, her total weight. So you can see in this, Jamie's balance between her with her weight between her skeletal muscle mass, which is 61.7 pounds of muscle, make of, of this is that, wow, which is girl. awesome, and then body fat in pounds. So this would be a well-balanced person. Say she was a C, and her skeletal muscle mass was low, and her body fat pounds were high, then that's a more of a unhealthy individual where we, we know that we want to have them trained to have more lean muscle and less body fat mass. Then we look at her BMI, which is a disease risk indicator for our health. She's in the normal range for her age and for her um, gender. And as well here, she's in that normal range here. Um, her bo percent body fat at 25.9, she's in that healthy range for women. So this is the coolest part that I really like. So for each arm, are your arms tired? Are you good? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. For each arm, left and right, she's pretty, are you right-handed? Mm -hmm. So even though she's right-handed, her arm strength is pretty balanced from left to right, and she's at 112.9% and 115.5. In her legs, She's exact, and she's been doing a crazy amount of spin with her Peloton. Mm -hmm. She's at 105 and 105 percent, and then in her trunk, 50 pounds of muscle at 108.4. Say an individual came in and they had 90 percent muscle in their arms and only 70 percent muscle in their legs. That would indicate that and even say 80% in their core. That would indicate that they don't have enough lean muscle in their legs to support their body weight. So someone who may have a higher body fat percentage, we wanna make sure that they have enough skeletal muscle mass to support the weight that they're at and to help balance it out. So if they're not at 100%, then our training goal for them, whether it's in classes or in personal training, would be to balance them out from side to side. So say you've had a surgery or you had a... I actually had an in-body test um, done last year in California with our mastermind group. I had hip surgery four years ago now, my left leg was a lot less in muscle than my right back then. And I redid the test um, last week when I got this machine and now it's balanced out. So as a training, what's cool here is that over time, this really nifty device has a full computer in it. I can store all of your information and I can track it over mm -hmm. time to make sure you're going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. So when we look here, our body fat mass, um, we want to see her basal metabolic rate is 1,447 calories. So that's the minimum amount of calories Jamie should eat in a day to just maintain this skeletal muscle mass. We want to make sure she's eating enough to do this. So if someone is trying to lose weight and they're decreasing their calorie intake, they have a really good chance of losing muscle as well. And we don't want to see that number go down. We want to see that number go down and help them know better how to um, adjust their, whoop, it's taking a picture, how to adjust their um, intake of what they're doing. So let me try to flip this back around. Okay, so what's cool about it, um, actually, let me turn this. So we have a poster at the studio that shows what everything means and what we're doing. We'll have this set up at our Church Street location. Um, this device is available for readings as a member with Quest. This will be integrated into some of our packaging options for our membership. Um, we're going to be doing our Maintain Don't Gain program, which starts on the 23rd and goes through January 2nd. So you have until November 28th to weigh in. So if all of our current monthly and year paid in full members will get one free reading. 
It's $10 for members, it's $20 for non-members with a 15 minute goal setting session. So we'll sit down, I would send you the guidelines to follow prior to the testing. Um, if you wanted us to bring this machine in for your employees or for your teams, um, it's something we could do to set up and come up with um, a program for them to help track that. What's cool about this is we also do metabolic testing at the studio. And with metabolic testing, this basal metabolic rate, that's that number of how many calories you burn, that's what our metabolic testing machine also tests. But what's different about the testing is that it also accounts for our total daily expenditure based on your calories you're burning by how much you sleep or lack of sleep, how much you exercise, and it gives us a nutrition breakdown. How, many, how much of your calories do you need to either gain muscle, maintain your weight, or lose weight? and then how many of your calories need to come from carbs, proteins, and fat. So we have metabolic testing, so it's a great tool to compare with that, that you don't have to do metabolic testing every time. Um, Jamie asked me how often do you do the in-body test. In-body recommends to do a screening every two to four weeks. If you're someone who's doing personal training, I would say two to four weeks is a great way to track to make sure you're going in the right direction, not losing muscle, mm -hmm. or at least once a month. If you're just, you know, honest, you're kind of, Jamie's kind of on a, a routine. She does her strength and then she does her cardio and she teaches classes. Um, she's kind of at close to her goal weight, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, she's in a healthy place. When she you first came, I mean, she completely transformed and her whole body changed. I think it's good if you're doing at least once a quarter to just check your progress. And starting in January, we're gonna be doing um, some baseline testing, both your fitness and incorporating in-body with that. So be prepared. If you're a member, we're gonna be able to check. We have our 1,000 pound club, which is our goal to help our members lose 1,000 pounds or inches over the course of each year. So this is gonna be a really cool tool to, pro to track your progress. So we're gonna be doing um, some screenings for our members this weekend. So if you are a member and you're watching us live right now, um, be sure to check your emails by tomorrow. I'll send out some times that you can um, schedule to weigh in for our Maintain Don't Gain program. If you're not a member and you're interested in joining our Maintain Don't Gain program, it's gonna be a six week program that includes a membership to the studio, two in-body screenings, half price off of our small group training classes, and prizes, a nutrition program, support group, all of that. So if you're interested, stay tuned. That'll get posted today as well. Other questions? Mm -hmm. Is this useful for you? Yeah. So the other, the other cool thing, if I had to give Jamie a goal, being that she's balanced here, she has that straight line, I'd want to see her be in the D curve. So I said a C curve is she like rubs to kill me with her <laughs> so the c curve where i said their muscle is low and their body fat is high mm -hmm. jamie's bout she's in a great way so i would want to see moving forward that our becomes a d curve muscle becomes higher than mm -hmm. that she's like right on the border but she's got a great amount of muscle to support her weight and where she's at she has more than what she what would be considered a hundred percent needed to have good health, strength, and balance. She's above that already because of how she trains. But if I had to say I wanna push her and train her to build a little bit more, it might be to increase that scale of a muscle mass a little bit more. So hopefully this is helpful. I'm excited to have this as part of Quest. <laughs> um, if you'd like to make an appointment just to do a screening to to know where you're at pre the holidays and do it post the holidays, feel free to um, visit our website. It's myqueststudio.com or to email me at talia at myqueststudio.com or call the studio on the number on our website or message our Facebook page and I'll be happy to schedule a screening with you. So great. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye.